So now we're going to learn some essential tags for working with HTML. And uh, the tags we're going to look at are the paragraph element, the heading elements, the unordered list element, and the ordered list. So we're going to start creating HTML. And to do that, we're going to come over to WebStorm. So here in WebStorm, I'm going to create a new folder. And so I'm going to right click the root directory. That's known as the root directory because that's the root of my website, the folder that's holding all of the code right, for a website. And I'm going to right click that and choose new directory. And uh, I'm going to give this a name, 005. And, uh, and then underscore, I'm just looking at how I was doing that to keep it, uh, uh, to keep it, uh, keep it consistent. So 005 essential tags. So I have that new folder. And then inside here, I'm going to create a few more folders. So I'm going to create 01, start out with this one, and it'll be paragraph element. So that's the first one we're going to take a look at. So I open the paragraph element, and then on that folder, I'm going to right click and choose new HTML file. And let's say I misspell this, and I just do INDX. So INDX, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted INDEX, so I could right click this file choose refactor and rename. So that's uh, how programmers talk about changing something. They refactor it. When you refactor your code, you're changing your code. So that's a little keyword that you need to know. So refactor, rename. I'm going to rename this file to index.html and refactor. It asks me if I want to search for references and search in comments and strings. If I had a big complex code base, it would search through that whole code base and make sure that everything, all the references and everything were still good. So I'm going to choose refactor, and now it's index.html. Cool. So now I'm ready to create a paragraph. Using Emmet, I'm going to do a P, just a P, and then hit tab. And that's going to fill in uh, the tag. And so we have an opening tag and a closing tag. We have the opening P and the closing P. And so that's telling me that everything between there is going to be a paragraph. Just like everything between the opening and closing HTML tags is an HTML page, and everything between the opening and closing body tags is the body of that HTML document, everything between these two tags is going to be a paragraph. I could put some text in here by typing lorem. That's another Emmet keyword. And after lorem, I hit tab, and it fills in all of the text. So there is my first paragraph. And uh, I could go and preview that right here by clicking that little Chrome icon. And it, you have to have the browser installed for this to work. So if you click like Opera <laughs> and you don't have Opera installed, it's not going to open it. So I, uh, I get Chrome and there's my first paragraph, right? Right there. Fantastic. So I have my first paragraph. The next thing I want to do is I want to do headings. So I'm going to copy this folder, Control-C. And I'm going to come over here and control V and I paste it and it says, what do you want to call it? I'm going to O2 heading elements and it's not heading element. It's heading elements because there's six of them. And so here's heading elements. And inside here, I'm going to create, uh, you know, six H1 tags and then I'll recreate my paragraphs. So here's H1. And I'm going to type H1 and then hit tab because Emmet will complete that for me, right? Pretty cool. And, uh, and then if I wanted to, I could get it even a little bit more complex. So I could do H1 and then a sibling H2 and then a sibling H3 and then a sibling H4 and then a sibling H5 and then a sibling H6. So there are all six of my tabs, uh, all six of my headings. And then I press tab. And Emmet's going to complete all that, h1, h2, h3. And it's got the cursor set to fill in right there in the heading. So I could do heading 1, enter, heading 2, enter. This would be a heading 3, enter, and a heading 4, enter. Here's a heading 5, enter, and finally heading six. All right, cool. So I was able to do all that. Now there's a way to reformat your code. And so I could come up to, I think it's code. I usually I work <laughs> on Mac code, reformat code and control alt L right there would be the shortcut on windows. It might be different. It is going to be different on Mac. So I could reformat my code. Didn't do anything. Well, I'm going to 
manually put those each on one line. And there's a way to configure the reformatting to work the way you want. I don't want to take the time right now to do that, but it's under File Settings, right? You go in there and you could reconfigure how the reformatting works. So there's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. So those are all of my headings. What do they look like? I could open that up, look at it, and heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The browser is automatically formatting all those to look a little bit different. We haven't added formatting. The browser is doing the formatting. If I wanted to uh, add paragraphs in beneath each of these, I could do multiple multiple cursor insertion. So let me see what the command is in Windows. There we go. So check that out. I'm holding down Alt, and I'm placing one, two, three, four, five, six cursors. They are all flashing right now. I did that with Alt. I held down Alt, and I just kept clicking in different places. Now, you ready for some mind-blowing magic? Is that not cool? Whoa. <laughs> How awesome was that? All right. So all editors or any editor worth its salt will have multiple cursor insertion. In WebStorm, we use Alt to do it. I direct you to the key map reference, right? So the key map reference. Start looking through this. Like duplicating the current line, control D, control Y, delete a line, right? And so, uh, I don't know, somewhere in there it says Alt, multiple cursor insertion. I'm just quickly looking through here to see if I could find it, but I don't see it. So look through it on your own and you can see multiple. Oh, add or remove cray, Alt click right there, multiple crays in selection. So sweet. I love that. All right, we could preview this with our headings and our paragraphs. So there are our headings and our paragraphs. Very nice. And you know, that formatting, I'm going to show you how to take the browser formatting out so you do all the formatting. So now we have headings. And the uh, next thing we need to do is an uh, unordered list or an ordered list. I don't remember. So let's go take a look. And we're doing an unordered list. So this one's going to be 03 unordered list element. And in here, I'll create index.html. And uh, before I even do anything in this code, I'm just going to set up my next folder, Control-C, Control-V. And this one will be 04. And this will be an ordered list. All right. So for the first one, for uh, unordered list, I'm going to do another emit and an unordered list will give me an unordered list, but then an unordered list has to have children. So that's how you do the children. We did siblings like that. We did children like this. And these are just Emmet shortcuts. You could also just type all this stuff out by hand. God help you. Uh, but I could do that with Emmet. So give me an unordered list and give me 10, give me children, LI children, list items, right? Give me list items, give me 10 of them. And those are going to be children of the unordered list. So when I hit tab, it gives me all that. And I could put in things here. You know, and I'm just continuing to uh, enter snow, ski, whatever, dog, surf, Hawaii. <laughs> that's what's in my head. <laughs> Total crazy association. So that's an unordered list. And I'm just going to pop that open. And there's my unordered list. And it's just bullets, right? So my unordered list. So it's like unordered list and then list items. And they each have an opening and closing tag. Finally, let's do an ordered list. So an ordered list with LIs, list items, times 10. So the only difference is before I had UL, unordered list. Now I have OL, ordered list. And then 10 list items. Hit tab. And uh, here's uh, cow, <laughs> boo, burger, moo, uh, cock, a doodle, doo. That was a lot to type. Uh, chirp, meow. Woof, uh, oink, and hello. Sounds you hear on a farm. <laughs> All right. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a that's a lot about WebStorm and some cool new tags: the paragraph element, the heading elements, the unordered list element, and the ordered list element. And using Emmet to do it. Now, the last thing I want to do is I just want to make sure my code is all committed. So I'm going to go here and type in git shell and launch my git shell, which is my terminal. 
And uh, I'm going to navigate to Documents and then HTML, CSS, Bootcamp, and, uh, and then LSLA, and there's my Git repo. So I'm going to do a Git status, and I've added some stuff. So I'm going to do a Git add dash dash all, and then a Git commit dash m adds 005 files, and then Git push, and ba -ba 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 bam, that's going up to the sky, baby. <laughs> So now here at GitHub, I've got 005 essential tags with all of those files in them. We're rocking it.